Hi there everyone. So today I thought you'd like to share with me making the tassel for the junk journal that I'm working on. I'm going to do the Voyager one. Um, I've got a few bits out. I always make a tassel for the journals that I make. Uh, I also do a writing board. I'll do a tutorial on that some other time. Um, I'd like to pick out the colours that I've got going on with the journal. So here we've got the greens, the turquoises, the orange, the rusty colours. Um, so colours that you'd have going on with the theme of it, I guess. And to match the papers inside, so I've got some golds going on. Um, greens, blues, browns. So let's, let's have a look what we've got. When I make a tassel, I use um, fibres. I've got a drawer full of them here in every colour there is going. So I will pick out some colours and also some contrasting colours to make them really pop when I do it. I'm looking for some... Maybe some rusty colours that are in here. Um, let's have a look. Put some browns in there. Some real deep blues. Um, let's see what's in that one. I'm going to use twine for this one. Again, I'm sticking with that nautical feel. Um, we'll use some lace, I think, as well. Let's have a look what we have. Either of those. Right, let's have a look what we've got. I also add beads and dangly bits and pieces when I make a tassel. I have a box here. I buy broken jewellery from charity shops. This is just one of my many boxes. I've got a huge big box that needs sorting through. This has got some sorted bits. And as you can see, it's just a mismatch of all sorts. I use, um, I personally, it's just my personal preference. So I use broken jewellery for closures on the books that I make. Um, so, for example, I would perhaps use something like that as a closure, part of a, a necklace or a bracelet. I just think they look absolutely super and you've already got that chain made up. So it makes it, there's another one that I could possibly use. And you just cut it down with your tools to the size. And I put the clip on the side there. So let's look for some beads. When I'm doing a tassel I really want to choose beads that have got a good wide hole on them there's some really really nice ones on there and that there you could actually use which I think I might do so if I dismantle this let's give it a snip at the top there don't think it's on wire no it's not I'll take some of these off that there could be used for the top of the tassel on this one. I think that would look quite, I think I can get twine down there. We'll give it a go, we'll give it a go. We can always uh, come up with something else if not. Okay, I keep these bits as well because the chains are always useful and the fasteners on them. So, let's have a look what we've got that we can add. Anything can be put on. If you've got some fabric strips hanging off your tassel, you can, little brooches, they can also be clipped on. Like a pearl from the sea. Uh, what else do we have in here? We've got all sorts. Some wooden beads. Oh, look here. You've got some shelves. Okay, so I think what I'll do with this one is if I can carefully snip through 
that there we could dangle that down within or like that within the threads we'll use that we'll make it work that's the thing there's no hard and fast rules we just give it a try there is a little cap that you could also use on top of that'd be a smaller tassel i don't think the one that i'm going to do for this one is going to fit in there we've got some pearls but again it's, it's the small the holes are really small so unless you're going to thread it through onto say embroidery thread or a finer thread that will not do the job today so we'll uh, let's make a start anyway let's make a start so put this to one side it's no doubt i will come back to it mm. I'm going to get some fibres first. Let's put those to one side. I'll also use some of the paper beads that I've made and I'll thread them on and add them to it. Let me get my book. Okay. Pop that there. I'll start with the turquoisey colours. Let's see what we have in here. I like a really nice, chunky, loads of different sort of textures in my tassels. Um, it's just personal preference. There is going to be a mermaid -y section in this journal. Um, so I think these will go really well. Now I'll put the tassel onto a bulldog clip, which will clip on the top of the spine so it can be removed so if i hold it up approximately half an inch above the top of the spine i want it so it's just touching the table so it looks nice when it's sat down it can just spread out so that's the length i'm going to go for and we need to double it over with a loop Get the scissors. My hairdressing scissors are in here for some reason. Don't know why they want taking out. <clears throat> okay, so that's my starting point. So now we'll just keep adding. And I'll just make them all the same size as that one that I've just cut. Just keep adding all different textures. I can put ribbons in, lace in, fabric strips, um, anything really that you fancy putting in. They're quite nice. So try not to go too mad on all one colour. <clears throat> Mix it up a bit. Doesn't matter if they're not all exactly the same length either. You can always trim it if needs. Oh, that's quite nice. Trim it if needs be. Um, I'll also add in um, a. Uh, I use embroidery thread actually for threading on my beads. I have got a finer twine though today, so I, if I can get the beads onto it, then that's what I will use and. We'll thread some beads on and I do exactly the same. Make a length of twine or embroidery thread, the same as these. And I will add some beads on or buttons and you just thread them on, tie a knot. What do we have in here? Oh, these are lovely. There's a nice one there. Okay. Oh, that one's already been cut. That's fine. Doesn't matter if it's a bit shorter, as long as you get your centre. It's a little bit shorter. It's the same as that. We won't use that one. We'll go for something else. Let's have a look. What's this one? I've obviously been in this bag before. I think I'm going to do a tour of my new craft room as well sometime soon i may even do that later while it's looking tidy because it won't last i have a weekend off work so i should be in here doing some on this journal 
a terrible also film. Okay, let's have some of the some threads out of here now. Oh wow, what have we got in here? Okay, that is super, I love that. That's a lovely one. Entirely up to you how thick, thin you like your tassel. I like to put plenty on them. They just look so lovely when they're hanging down on the spine. I know it covers the beads up, but you can always remove it. So They just add a bit of something to it, which I love. bright greens here. These would be good at Christmas. That limey green there pulls out the same colour from the beads that I've got on there. I love that. That'll really pop on there. I'll put a bit of ribbon in. of orange in there so we'll use that one okay and we'll put one or two blues let's see what we've got in here we'll have a bit of sparkle got to have a little bit of sparkle There we go, and we'll put this one in, and then I think we'll put some laces in there then. Okay, so. all right, now I'm going to put in a couple of pieces of lace trim. I've got all sorts, this is just one or two that I've actually got round to sorting out. Fabric too, I'm going to put some little strips of tea dyed. I bought this one too. I have some Doc Martin boots, some wrong ones, and I took the laces out and decided to put ribbon in instead. Right. I thought I'd just order a small amount, but I got a whole reel of it, so that's fine, it'll get used. Oh, okay, so here's some of the sheet that I you died. I think we'll do a couple of little little strips and snippets of that. We'll just tear that now. I keep all the little spare threads that come off because they're useful for the dangles. I get picking them off all my clothes in the evening and when I've been working in here and put them in a little folder. of those in there as well okay right so we put some twine in there and that's what I'm going to use for my beads you do end up looking for it afterwards but 
we'll find it not a problem let's move that one to this side I've perhaps put two in there <clears throat> because I put the little piece of fabric in there um, the strips of fabric there will be something to um, pin you can also pin different things on it let's have a look how's that looking Give it a turn, move things around until I'm happy with the way it sits and it looks. Put that one on the top on the outside. Okay. Let's straighten our ribbon there. Look. You can always just have a play around with it until it sits where you want it to sit. Level things out a bit. There. Okay, I'm quite happy with the way that looks. Once it has beads added onto it, and any of the little bits that I decide to add on, then that's going to look superb. Yeah, I like that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tie where my finger is, I'm going to tie that. So roughly in your centre, get your piece of twine and I'll wrap it a couple of times nice and tight, making sure you've got all your threads through. Check it before you tie it, you're happy with where it sits and then tie your thread. Okay, so then that's holding it where I was holding it. I've got one of those really lumpy look. It's from there, let's move that through. Okay. <clears throat> now I leave a little bit of give in there because I am going to pop on, let's pull one of the loops up, there we go, I'll tie that in a double knot now. So there is a little bit of a third one, it goes the opposite way and that locks it in. It has got a bit of give in there, twist that round so it goes in and those threads will then blend in with the rest. I have a little bit of give. And I'm going to add on there the jump ring because that's what I'm going to attach my pin onto. So I'm going to put a jump ring on there. Now I said I might use this, so let's have a look. Let's see. I've lost my ends now. Sometimes I put um, just a ring on and a pin. There's so many different ways of doing this. I've got that really bubbly bit there. <laughs> so um, you can use a top, you can use a cap, a thimble, or you can just leave it as a loop, put a little ring on there, or even just a safety pin, a ball pin straight onto there and just pin it on and just tie around that bit there. Am I going to put that on there? It would give it a... I think so. Let's let's see. Let's see how it goes. <clears throat> we'll put it on if we can get it threaded. That's the thing. Let's have a look. Twine isn't the easiest thing to work with, is it? It always wants to spread. Okay, we're going. <laughs> I twist and push, maybe. There we go. Okay. I quite like that. I think that's a nice top for that one. I think we'll go with that. So, to secure that now, I'm going to put on a bead. 
<clears throat> I just need to find a bead that will fit through the hole. But at the same time, we'll cap that off quite nicely. Let's see. Maybe. I think that's going to be an ask too much, that one. That is. Let's see what's in our little pot. That's a wooden. No, it's a stone bead. Sometimes, if you've got a wooden bead, you can just persuade it to open up a tad. Let's have a look at that one. Is that going to be any good? Uh huh. All right, I'm afraid too much there now. Let's take the end of it. Try again. There we go. Let's see. That looks quite nice. I like that. Okay. Okay. All right, let's put a little. Save us opening it up. I'm going to pop it on by threading it, I think. go back through. I've got the ring on there. So I'm going back through the little top bead that I just put on. I've got my ring on the top. <clears throat> Is it going to go through there? This is the thing. If not, then we shall have to think again. What I made is just put a little bit of all right, a little trick alert. A little bit of scotch glue around the end of the twine. Twist it. Make it really pointy. Get the rest of the glue off your fingers and then Pop it in there and gently <laughs> nearly. <laughs> we nearly got it. Let's try that again. I need a bit more. Okay. Needed a bit more give. So just push it through gently. There we go. Okay, so that there has gone back down. I hope you can see that. So we pushed it up through the centre of the bead, put a little silver bead on, threaded it, threaded the twine through the little metal loop at the top, back through the silver bead, back down through the wooden bead, and then now we can tie this back in around the tassel if we can find the other end of our twine there we go that's dangling down and that will secure that on there then and we've got a top to it okay and then i will just nip off where i put the glue so that you haven't got a really hard third knot goes the opposite way and that locks it in okay there's our crispy bit where we just added a little glue. And now we can work those down or put a little bead or a dangle on them. And there we have, what I will do with that is I will put a ball pen on there. And that is ready to go on. your 
And that's a different way that I've done it. Sometimes I tie them there. I'm not going to tie that one there because we've got the top. I like the fullness under the bead. So now I'm going to decorate it up. So we find our lengths of twine that we put on. There's one. Try and separate it from the others. There we go. Okay. Move those out of the way. Let's move our glue. And then I'm going to add on one or two beads. It's quite a heavy duty one, but I like it. Now this one, because it's got quite a big hole, I'm just going to thread it on and tie a knot. It loops it onto there. So that's one there. Perhaps put a goldy coloured one further down. Do the same again. And we can maybe get one more. We'll put this lovely green one on. This is a wooden bead, I think, the feel of it. And do the same again, but this time I'm going to put two knots in because I'm securing this one as the end bead. There we go, and then I fray the end of the twine just because I do. No reason, there's no purpose for doing it, I just like to fray the end of it. There we go. So that's some some little beads that are dang, dangling on there, like so. So we can now let's have a look what else we have. Let's see if we can incorporate this. So I need my little scissors. No idea what's going to happen when I try and do this. So it's either going to work or it's going to fall apart. Let's see. We don't try, we never find out. I guess. Let's see. Oh, it's looking good. Okay, let's keep going then. Which way was it there? Let's have a quick drink of my tea. I'm so thirsty. I make tea all the time. I probably only drink about two. There we go. I'm trying not to just cut it off because I like the little bead that's on the end. If I can try and salvage it then that'd be fantastic. But if we cut through it, it doesn't matter. It's not the end of the world. Okay, now. <laughs> cut the right bit, Sarah. <laughs> this is when you wish you put your glasses on. Okay, there we go. So what's happened there then? Oh, brilliant. Okay. Managed to save both ends? Yes. There we go. So that there now, it's quite secure. Let's add that. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go the opposite side to where my beads are. And should we tie it on? Let's have a look. Yeah. I'm going to thread the twine that we've sewed the top on with. there. It's got a little loop on the... Okay. And let's tie it on. I love that. That is so good. I've had some... Lately, some of the broken jewellery bags that I've bought have been absolutely fantastic. I bought one last week. I went shopping with my daughter and she spotted it on the counter. 
and it's got some absolutely fabulous stuff in it. Really beautiful beads. Okay, so there's that one. There's our shells. Now I think I'm gonna do I bother with that? Is that too big and chunky? I don't know. No, I don't think it is. Let's pop it on. A little brooch. I'm just gonna like a little sea pearl, well, a big sea pearl. So let's just pop that there. There you go. Does it want to be further down? Perhaps it wants to be further down. Now, I just noticed then that that was slightly pulling and loosening. So I am going to secure those with wire I think. I'm going to give it a wire around the top and just secure them in because that ribbon then felt a little bit loose. If you put a ribbon on that you think is a bit bulky, so say this brown one, it's sitting quite stiff. I just get my scissors and I snip right up the centre and split it. I'll use my big ones for this. So just hold it straight and then um, it doesn't matter if it's not straight it really doesn't matter just don't cut it off go right the way up and it gives you an extra tasselly bit as well all the way up to the top without cutting it off there and that's split that and it blends in much better now than it was when it was just sitting poking out okay I think we'll do the same we'll do the same with the other one yeah why not do the same on this side <clears throat> or you could actually cut up the centre with pinking shears that'd give it quite a nice nice edge to it actually All the way up to the top, but without cutting it off. There we go. I think that's much better. That sits nicer. Okay. So I'll go back in my dangly box. I'm not going to use that because I want to use the beads from that on something different. That there is another tassel don't really think it goes with this so I'm going to leave that one let's see what we've got here there's all sorts you can do if you've got part of a, um, a bracelet a broken bracelet you can hang that from it you can let's see so oh, this is lovely I like that a lot. Okay, so here, that just goes with this absolutely beautifully. It's still got the little clasp on it, so I am going to, where we've wrapped it on at the top, clasp that onto the twine at the top. That's that's clasped on and because it's got a little chain hanging down you can also hang something off there so that is again it's getting some weight to it now it's got some interest on it now the other thing we can do with these twines I've got here I've got a little um, ship's wheel and I've also I forgot all about these in here When I'm working on a themed book, I start collecting bits and bobs for it, and this is all nautical related. Okay, so we've got a mermaid there. I think she's just definitely got to go on. Definitely got to put her on there. So let's see. Again, I'm going to use the glue because that's quite a small hole. 
<clears throat> if I'd got embroidery thread on here, I'd probably put her on embroidery thread. Um, I don't use the fibres because they can, some of them can break really easily and you don't want to lose. You don't, oh, that's good. She's on the side of the shelves. I love that. That is super. <laughs> Right, I'm going to put the two knots the same way and then the last knot the opposite way and that locks it in. I will cut that little gluey end off. Okay, she's nice and secure on there. Let's just cut that little, I didn't put too much on. Let's cut our gluey end off, fray the end, and then we have our mermaid dangling down. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the some of the beads that I made. If there's anything in there that we can add on, they can be put on. Nice creamy gold one in there. We've still got some twine somewhere in here that we haven't used yet. That's our mermaid. Here we go. Okay. So, same so again, just thread your twine down there. Now you can either tie it on by looping it back up or we can add a bead. Let's see what we have. Just find what oh. I want a hole that is big enough to thread this one big enough to thread the twine through but so that if we tie it off it's not going to go back through so let's see if we can get this through here so a little glue trick on your twine twist it into a little point I find that using this glue the Scott glue it it just works if I try and use fabric tack it um, it's too sticky I like that we'll use that one do we add some more no, I'm gonna stick with that one so, let's give that a double knot I think that will perhaps stop that going back through Definitely stop that going back through. Yep. And then we again cut our gluey end off and fray our bottom. I just think they look nice when they're frayed. There. And we've got a paper bead on there then now that I made. Okay, so that is getting quite heavy now. I'm quite happy with that. I'm just going to go and get my wire. I've got some really thin wire and I'm just going to give that a pinch around there because I think it will just lock in our threads that we've put on there. just noticed another bead that I haven't used and I've just got to use this I love it it's I like it and I'm sure we have we do is it just the one we've got no we've got a long one there look okay so <laughs> can add some more let's add some more beads never have enough beads 
I love using them. I like them on the spines, I like them on the dangles and on my tassels. Oh, gluey fingers. And I'm going to do the same as I did on the first one. Pop the bead on. Tie a knot. And I'm going to go for, uh, we've got a pearly one. Let's use another pearly one. I think that's going to be too small, that hole. But we'll try. Let's see. Let's try. Go for the larger end. Oh. It's just a... Yes, we got it. <laughs> Again, tie to secure it. You could tie, um, especially with that one I've just done, you could just tie a little knot as you've threaded it through to stop it dropping back down again. Um, but I kind of like doing it this way. Let's see if we can get this one on there. These metal beads can be quite tricky because they're hollow. If you don't go straight down, like, oh, it's gone through this time. But sometimes if your thread goes to one side as you're threading it through, they're neon impossible to tie it. Right, I'll show you what I mean with this. So I just tie a little knot. So it's quite a small hole. And that will just stop that from dropping down on that one. And then the big one that I wanted to put on, I'm going to put it at the bottom. And we'll secure that one with, do we secure that one with a smaller bead? <gasps> decisions, decisions. Let's, purely because I'm running out of <laughs> twine to be able to do a big tie on it. Let's do a double knot. Oh, this is what happens. You get gluey fingers and then nothing works everything just sticks to you i'm terrible if i start in my shift at work later and i come in and i do an hour before i go to work in here and i think i've got all my glue off and i can guarantee you i haven't and i end up with fluff and all sorts stuck on my fingers by the time i get to work stained dyed fingers all sorts there we go so there's another, there's another beady bit. This is quite a heavy tassel. It's good. It feels good. I'm taking that off. don't like that at all. It's just not working for me. Across the top. Here we go. See, it sounds good as well now. It's chinging, dingling. No idea where the mermaid's gone. This is the beauty of these because you can just keep going through them and you'll find something new. I think they're super. I absolutely love them. On the end of there, this bracelet, we've got the chain hanging down. I think I'm going to use a jump ring. Just get the pliers. And I'm going to pop on that little ship's wheel. Let's just pop that on there. And then pop that towards the end, because it's got a little dangle on it, so that makes it look like it's part of it. Um, close that up. So the last thing I'm going to do, like I said, is just give that a little tie around with this wire. Really fine, really thin wire. But it will just secure by taking that from the wrong end. If there's a wrong end to do something, I will find it. I guarantee you. Always the hard way. My mother always said, you always pick the hard way to do something, never the easy way. <laughs> okay, just snip that off. Um, give it 
a little I'm only doing it right at the very top of it just to stop them there we go sliding through so I'm going to actually put a little knot in that wire which sounds really crazy but it is so fun just make it easier to wrap so I've got something to twist it onto in a second. I am literally just trying to catch all these threads just to stop them from <laughs> loosening off. Okay, once it catches, it's really easy then to Tighten it off. <laughs> oh, it's gone the same way with that. Who knows? Probably. <laughs> okay, and then I'm just going to give them a little twist. <laughs> I'll wrap the two twisted ends. Push them upwards. Okay, so that now has secured my fibres. Okay, so with that I am going to get a bronze looking bulldog clip for this journal rather than the silver, I think. Although the silver looks good. So that then will clip onto there. And there we have our tassel for this journal. It picks out the colours. Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching this and joining me in making a tassel if you've liked it please subscribe that would be super give it a thumbs up leave me a comment I love reading the comments um, press the notification button so you don't miss any of the films that I'm doing and I hope to see you again soon thanks bye